On the day of your hearing, arrive early at the commission. Check the TV monitor in the lobby or with the receptionist for your hearing room assignment. Check with the building's receptionist to be directed to the hearing room. Locate your hearing room. Wait in the hallway if the hearing room is in use. If not in use, enter the hearing room and be seated. Expect to see other people in the hearing room including the defendant's attorney, the judge, and the court reporter. Until the judge calls the hearing to order, casual chatting may occur between the participants and even the judge. Once the judge starts the hearing, there will be more formality. The hearing is your opportunity to present evidence in support of your claim. Although hearings are not as formal as other judicial trials, they are just as serious. All testimony is taken under oath or by affirmation to tell the truth. The defense attorney's job is to put information in the record favorable to his or her clients. Expect the attorney to question you and other witnesses. The attorney may raise legal defenses or issues. The attorney may also make objections or arguments during the hearing process. You will be allowed to respond to any arguments or objections made. You may also make your own objections. If you do not understand something at the hearing, ask the judge for an explanation. It is the judge's job to conduct an orderly and fair hearing, listen to the evidence, rule on objections, and ultimately decide your case by issuing a written award. The hearing will be recorded by a court reporter or a recording device. Most hearings are transcribed. The written transcripts of your hearing will be kept in a file where any party can refer to them. You will probably testify first. The judge will ask you questions about your claim and the evidence you have to support it. This is your chance to present your case to the judge. Listen carefully to the questions. Remember to speak loudly, clearly, and slowly enough to be understood. Answer questions in complete sentences. Answer yes or no out loud. Avoid nodding or shaking your head or saying uh-uh or uh-huh. Answer in descriptive words. Avoid gestures. If you're asked about your injury, name and describe the body part that was hurt rather than pointing to it. Remember, the judge will read and rely on the written transcript. Descriptive words get into the transcript. Gestures do not. Prepare ahead of time. Bring documents you may need. Refer to a document by its date and author if you want to bring it to the judge's attention. After the judge questions you, you may make a statement. Briefly and clearly state what you want from the judge. When the judge finishes questioning you, expect the defendant's attorney to ask questions. This is called cross-examination. Cross-examination allows the opposing attorney to draw out testimony from a witness that may help the attorney's clients. Your witnesses will testify next, followed by the defendant's witnesses. The party requesting the witness will question the witness first. The other party will then have the right to cross-examine or question the witness. If you have asked for a witness or plan to cross-examine the defendant's witnesses, prepare your questions ahead of time. If the judge thinks additional witnesses are needed, the judge will schedule further hearings, usually within 90 days. Further hearings sometimes cannot be scheduled for two or three months after the initial hearing. This means the entire hearing process may take several months to complete. You must attend the initial hearing and all further hearings. If you live outside Tucson or Phoenix, you may make arrangements to attend further hearings by telephone. No more evidence may be submitted after the last hearing. The judge cannot decide your case until all witnesses have testified.